Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Long Dark. So, last episode, we were going to go explore a cave. So, I spent the last few days inside getting ready for that. And there was a two-day blizzard. So, I couldn't really do anything. I cleaned up the floor. I actually started on the wolf. Where is that? There we go. The wolf skin coat. I started it, but really didn't get much work done on it. Uh, picked everything up. We actually have enough for an entire another one, which is good because we can repair it. Because I noticed that even though we're not really getting injured, our, our things that we make from the animals are, seem like they're wearing down faster than, well, everything else. So, in spite of that, since we are going for broke here, I decided to figure out what I could leave on inside this building, what I can take off. Uh, basically, throughout the day when I go inside, so my clothes will stop wearing out. So we can just wear the boots, the sweater, the jeans, and the socks. And that is just enough to keep us warm in here. So, we're going to down the rest of it or not. I threw something else in here. I don't know what it is now. Uh, coat. Gloves. There we go. Then so we're going to throw this stuff on because we're going to go out in the wilderness and we're going to go see what's in this cave. And hopefully it's a good day. We have 10 hours of light, the sun is out, it's a good day. It's not too cold. Yeah, we got a good amount of, of energy left. Uh, I drank and ate food before we went out, so we're good. We're at 100% condition. We have 1900 calories. We should have more than enough to get there and get back without any problems. And we can see if there's anything laying around the, the water line on our way there. Because I went out looking yesterday, and well, yesterday in the game, and I couldn't find anything. There really wasn't anything laying around. I did find, if you see out there, I don't know if you can see it. There's a locker over there. I found that earlier. Yep, there wasn't anything in it though. So, we're gonna make our way over to this cave over here. I'm hoping that there's nothing in there, you know, animal wise. But seeing the bones on the ground, I have a high suspicion that there may be a bear inside. Or maybe an old bear den. It could be the bear that we killed. I'm not really sure. I don't know if the bears respawn in their dens. We're going to find out. And if there's nothing here, then... What's this? Yeah, nothing. Just a little just a little indent. But if there's nothing in here worth look getting or looking for or anything, then we'll probably just head back and uh, go get stuff ready for the forge. We can make a whole bunch of items. I'm basically going to take all that scrap metal and make as much stuff as I can now. If I only have to do it once. I think this was the cave. This is the cave. I'm gonna look over here. Just to make sure there's nothing over here. Nope. Just a waterfall. Over here, and over here. Alrighty, let us go inside the cave and hope we don't die. I'm gonna try to keep my ears open or in here. 
I never know. I don't really want... I don't want to be walking around and have a sneak up on a bear. So I think I'm going to keep the gun out. Remember how to get out of here. Because if we see a bear, I'm going to try to shoot it. There's a deer in here. Oh boy. The suspense is getting amazing. What is that? Alright, boys and girls, I don't see anything in here. It's really dark over there, though. Nope, I want the lantern. There we go. Alrighty. Well, that's interesting. Oh, it goes back even further? Oh, not too much further. Oh, wow. Okay. So... Wow. I, I dare say that... Well, we'll call you Scott. Scott here. Scott here either got murdered by the bear, or he fell off that. I wonder how you get up there. There's gotta be a way up there, right? There's gotta be. Just raw venison sitting on the ground. Deer antlers. Alright, let's make a quick pass through now that we have some light. Let's look around. Oh, there's another entrance. See, I couldn't see that in the dark. So, there's a possibility that the bear might still be in here. Which is really gonna suck, because I can't have my gun out with the lantern. I'm really starting to hope that it's just the bear I killed earlier, that this was his den, and we don't have to deal with the bear. Okay, so we are at the top. Oh, is that what that is? It's a rifle? Oh man. Alright, so we have two deer, no bear, uh, a rifle, and Scott down there. It looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like it caved in on him. So, I was kind of worried about meat, but, uh, not really worried about it anymore. Because that bear meat I had is starting to decay really, really fast. I don't think you'll have to use it on anybody, Mr. Jack Frost, because, uh, well, there's nobody to use it on. But it's an old 303 caliber bolt action, just like the rest of them. It's gonna weigh us down, but we're gonna take it. Because we're going for broke here, which means I need everything. Still haven't figured out what the problem is with the days survived thing. You guys remember in the previous episodes, it keeps telling us we survived so many days, but it doesn't match the journal. I still have not got a response back from the devs at Henderman Studios about what is wrong. So let's see what's on Scott over here. We're basically just going to take everything. Stale chocolate. Water. Accelerant. It's on you. More rifle rounds. 
So, it looks like this is a good place to get a rifle. How much are we at? We're only at 31, stop complaining. I'm gonna have to remember this is here, because this would be a nice survival shelter if I was out and about and I needed a quick place to stop. There's some coal on the ground. There's some firewood in here. What's on this? Almost nothing. Alright, well there's not much on these deers. I know you guys can't see. Remember, I'm a professional. I can see just fine. Uh, I don't even really think we need the guts. I have so many. We're just gonna leave them. I, I don't need them right now. And they decay too. Everything decays. So we got a kilogram there. Okay, I absolutely cannot see. Let me use one of these. Like that. Alright, so we got almost three kilograms. We got two hides, which is good. I can use those to fix my boots. And we'll grab a couple of these lumps of coal, just because they're here. We might as well take them. And I'm guessing in a couple days those will be gone. Maybe some new ones will come in. All in all, not a bad journey. We found something cool. We found out that the bear is gone. I am assuming that the bear I killed is the bear that used to live here. Not over here. That would really suck if I was walking out of here and there's just a bear at the entrance. It's like, well, that would suck. Then I'd be stuck in here having to fight the bear and I'd have to make that, uh, that tough decision of shoot the bear or let the bear eat me. Oh wow, only three hours in and the weather turned bad. Let's grab these rose hips. I think I'm going to start making a whole bunch of teas to keep on me. I still haven't tried to get back up there. I'm going to figure a way to get up there. I'll break this thing like Skyrim. Those damn mountains. Okay. Here's one for you people out there and game developers watching this. I have an item that has absolutely no use. It's ruined. I can drop it and it will stay there for life. Taxing my computer game. Because it's an item that has to stay there that can't be used. Please, please, please. There's got to be a way to destroy these items. I mean, if I'm going for broke here 200 days, I'm going to have a pile of junk. I've been trying to keep it all in one spot. We'll keep the flare there, though. It's whatever. But, uh, I've been throwing them all on top of this desk I have in this building. But, you know, I don't want to keep dragging all my old stuff all over the place and drag it all the way back here. So... There's, I mean, there's got to be a way to get rid of this stuff. Yeah, you guys have been giving me some nice hints, tips, and tricks to the game that I didn't even know. So if any of you have an idea, suggestion, or something I just don't know, please throw it in the comments below, because I would like to know. And if you guys are liking this video, hit that like button. I actually want to try something. I want to see... I want to see how good you guys can help me. Let's get... Let's get this video. This specific video up to a hundred likes I know I don't have a lot of subscribers share it with your friends though have them watch it the likes really do help they really help they show that you you like the games it helps support somebody logged on to seven days to die during my 
video recording. But yeah, the, the likes help. Yeah, we're just going to wander around here for a little bit. I'm just going to look around. See if I missed anything. Pick up some scrap wood. It, it's just, it's just, this, this is why we need a jump button. Hinder lens. This. We need a jump button. Like, seriously, I'm getting stopped by a three inch piece of wood. Three inches. Totally stopped me dead in my tracks. Can't even go anywhere. There's a box over here. I've never even noticed a box was here. Alrighty. See? You just wander around, you find new stuff. Oh, come on, Snowdrift. I will defeat you. There we go. Let's go up here. Nothing. So the storms the past couple of days in this game have been brutal. I basically had to stay in for two entire days and I was deeply afraid I was going to get cabin fever. I would come outside just for an hour or two and just go make a fire just so I could try to stay warm. Alright, let's dump... Let's dump the coal, the scrap, there's nothing in that one. You know what, we're going to try an experiment. Experiment time. Oh man, my bear meat is moldy. I'm going to keep one out here. I'm curious if the cold will actually make it last longer. And, you know, I have tons of bear meat. So we can try it. So those are at 54%. I'm going to put one in the locker. And we're going to put one outside. We're considering a science experiment. Let's see how realistic the game really is. Because if it's realistic, the cold should make it last longer. And... See, all these inside are... 44, 53, I mean, they're getting horrible. They're, they're, they're getting bad. So, I mean, getting a bear is nice, but getting a bear is going to make me sick. Now, I don't remember what locker I put the rose hips in. Uh, we're going to stick them in this one, though. And we'll keep the cloth on. Let's go cook some meat. Oh, yes. And I have this floating can. Because I destroyed the table. You can almost read the nutrition facts. Almost. But yeah, I cleaned up in here. It looks nice. Up, there's junk all over the floor. Cleaned up down here. You can actually see everything. I got probably 150 wood here. Maybe more. I don't even know. I haven't even tried to bother to count it all. Yeah, we cleaned up in here a bit. I still got some stuff to get rid of. I mean, this is all open. We can walk through here. It's basically what I've been doing in my off time. Just cleaning up. So let's cook some meat real quick. And then... Take that. Might as well just... Use some accelerant. We have it. Might as well use it. This ruined me to actually get a cook. Apparently, still moldy. But it did cook. I 
I'm very glad I have a lot of antibiotics. Because the problem with eating moldy food in this game is... Oh, that one's fresh. Ah, uh, moldy food will give you food poisoning. Make your stomach sick. You know, give you all kinds of nasty things. Probably give you the runs and everything else. So this is the only one that didn't get up to 90. It was the one that was bad. So we're just going to eat it. This is the lowest one in our inventory. Oh, I gotta drop that gun off. I don't really have anything else to cook. But you know what? I don't like to waste fire. So... Melt as much as we can. Drop it. And we'll boil it later. It's a good way to use the rest of your fire up. So we got three hours. All in all, I think it was a fairly productive day. We got two deer skins, a couple kilos of meat. We started a bear science experiment. I have so much bear left. So much bear. So much bear. I mean, even our food is starting to go bad. This is why when you find food, you don't take it. You just leave it there till you need it and you go back and get it, which is what we're going to do for the rest of the game. We're going to try to survive on only the fresh meat, and then if we really need food and we start to get really desperate, then we'll go out and find food for what we need for the couple of days, and that is it. Because it's... I, I, like right now, I totally forgot that, you know, we're indoors, we need to take stuff off. It's new, new habits I'm going to have to make, because I'm not used to doing these these things when I play. And they don't really... When I play these games, I don't by myself. I'm not like going for broke here. I'm just playing because it's fun. All right, this one's full. Um, we're gonna have to do some management. I think we're gonna move out all the arrows, the bows, anything arrow related. We're gonna move it all. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. We're just going to put this for guns. There we go. And then... Let's make use of these filing cabinets. So we'll stick all the weapon... We'll stick all the arrow stuff in this filing cabinet. Uh, all the bows. All these... All those. I don't even know if we have room in here for this torch. Not really. We can try. Alright, it worked. Um, yeah. So, I got a couple hours of daylight left. I'm going to do some cleanup micromanagement stuff. And, uh, next episode... We'll probably start at the boat, because I'm going to have to haul probably 25 kilos of stuff there, and you guys don't want to walk watch me walk like a snail. So if you guys liked the episode, hit the like button. If you didn't, li hit the, didn't like the episode, hit the dislike button. Tell me why. Throw your comments down below. Subscribe for more daily content. Hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified as soon as my new videos come out. And let's try to get this video up to 100 likes. I know you guys can do it. And I will see you in the next episode.